Okay, so this video is for my friend Mark, who just got an Explorer Blaster. I wanted to show you my Explorer Blaster. Um, it does have a few differences, uh, one of which is the fact that, well, you can see the silicone all right there, if you can see it. Yeah, what those suckers are is, um, that's, that makes 100% seal on there. Um, I also used a much stronger system. Rather than pins, I used a... Um, basically a number 10 screw, uh, stainless steel screw, drive it in there, file the other side. A little bit of custom work that I did, plus it's a brass barrel with a Merlin on it, so it's it's tight. In other words, it would be easier to jam than, like, let's say what you had. But I also want to show you your darts. Here's your darts. They're, they're in a rinse stage right now. You can see how it's kind of hazy on top. Of it. They're in a rinse stage right now, and I'm about to throw it in another uh, half soap, half water stage and clean them again. But they had, a, as you saw in that video, you may have seen that video, the last one I did, it, had a, it still had a little bit of wax on it. I am getting it. The, the V3s take the longest to get the wax off. They just do. They, they're very intricate on the outside of them. Holds a lot of wax. But these are going to be really good darts when they're done. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you a 4.0 damage, baby. Yeah, 21 kilograms, 12-inch uh, brass Merlin barrel shooting into that and I want to show you and I, I did not use X-Darts I am using F, FNJs which yeah they are inferior feeding they are inferior firing everything else but this thing still makes short work of it but put in mind this is a Explorer that is almost I would say 20 months old yeah so I've had this for almost two years okay <clears throat> you can see it's been through a lot of airsoft battles everything else I got the X-Trigger the X-Lever all that but over time, I got it. It's gotten better and better and better. It just takes some fine tuning. That's all it takes, you know. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, I got a GoPro chest mount. I got some cool stuff for my birthday. I did. So what I do when I when I open it is I go all the way until I clear the pusher, and I uh, and I grab that. But I don't lock up the breech. See? So I'm not holding it. And then also I have an air hole right here that lets air into my plunger tube. That is also a hole, if you can see that, that's also a hole into the plunger tube. Right. So let me, I uh, hope this comes out. So I'm going to load this up with 15 FNJs. And you can see that the quality these are, uh, this is like the zombie strike foam. It's real thick foam. Um, do I use a lot of, of, of Teflon lube? Yeah, Teflon lube, uh, Pledge. I, I polish it with Brasco, and uh, I clean it with a 50 caliber war brush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we're going to see how this comes out. Hopefully it comes out okay. Ah, playing with a Star Wars blaster earlier. Nine, ten. Ah. I have all these odd start. So it starts 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So when I do it, they're about to that. Oh, no, wait, I think I'm short one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, I'm short one. Hold on. And 15. Okay. So at the bottom, so when I load it, there's about the bottom of the cell. I know you got the 12 round mags. This is a 18. I load it to 15. And what I find is it squishes the darts less, it jams less, it runs better. I knock back the darts so that the heads are all like that. Yeah. So they don't mark, especially the silicone ones or your eraser heads like your, your, um, your ACCs or your artifacts. I don't even use ACC and artifact. I don't like them. Don't like them at all. Okay. Here you go. I'm going to show you a test fire of one of my uh, of, of of my long shot. Are you ready? I can only go so fast because it won't catch really fast. But let's see how fast I can go. Oh, another thing. Um, thirty six dart, thirty six millimeter darts. Mine are cut to thirty six millimeters, not thirty five. What it does, it adds another millimeter to this. Hopefully, this comes out. Another millimeter to the dart. You can see how it's sticking out farther on the finger. Yeah, it pushes it in the breech better, and it avoids a lot of jams and a lot of inconsistent velocities. Because then this part is at least into my brass, or in your case, it would be aluminum. See, I hope that comes out. Okay, so here we are. 
Ready, set. Up. Jam there. And I think my arms are just weak today. But yeah, you can see that. I mean, I was able to clear the jams pretty easy. Like, a lot of mine, because I didn't push them back far enough when I was firing. And I, and I did it. So let's try that again. I don't know, for whatever reason. Did I up it to 23? Maybe I upped it to 23 and I don't remember. Might have. Might have. I do that sometimes. But as you can see, even when I have like a double feed, and I did have a double feed in there, I was able to yank it out of the, the dart at the barrel because I have a 100% seal. That does help. Let me throw a white one as a follower this time. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and yes, the X starts do feed better and fire better. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, so this time, let's, let's do this again. Are you ready, Dakota? Fire away. Ah, there's a magazine jam there. So, yeah. Of course, I did have a few little misfeeds because it's an FNJ uh, dart. But yeah, I, I, I'm able to fire them, clear the barrel, all that. They do get better over eight. Okay, the breaches do get better. We seal them better. We work on them. Let me get this out of here. Yeah, there you go. But as you can see, I'm so used to running them that when I do get a jam, I can just pull it out, yank it, you know, pull out the, the magazine, yank it out, fix the jam, and fire within seconds. You know, because I'm used to using clip feds. Even though a lot of people think, oh, he only goes pistols. Mm, yeah, recently he only go pistols. Are you kidding? I was the guy who had people running in HVZs with modified retaliators. And I had my shit down. My mag changes, my firing, my line of sights, my walking the shots. Just boom, 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 boom. You know, years of shooting too. But mostly, I have to say, action sports. So there you go, man. I'm working on those. That looks like another cycle. Then I can glue them, I'll try to get my friend's autoclave to dry them quicker. So there's a way of drying these darts. You can wait like a week or 10 days to cure them. Or you can get an autoclave at about 150, 160 degrees, and you can cure all the silicone. And that helps. So at any rate, this is Chris Cartea, signing off.